Hi there, today is a big day for MS community, for MS people, and I would like to contribute uh, with body technique to all of you. Uh, it's a special philosophy, it's a philosophy that is giving you an opportunity to learn from new movements, from connection, from the breath, and through the movement and from the periphery to the central units of your body. And when your nervous system is learning, then your nervous system ca can repair. And this is what our experience here in Zagreb is. So check it out, grab a chair, or if you're more secure, you can even do these exercises on the Swiss ball. Okay, so we're gonna start our daily routine with this protocol that I will show you today. If you can normally walk and stand upright, then maybe this is too easy. But I assure you, if you will do it on a Swiss ball like I will today, then it will also do some good for your nervous system and your nerves. But for starters, if you have problems with equilibrium and walking, maybe it is better to start with these exercises on the chair. Why? Because when you sit on a Swiss ball, then if you close your eyes, then your nervous system has to do more work to keep you in balance. It is called proprioception. It is a nervous system workout. So if you have any type of balance problems, then maybe for starters, you sit on a firm surface, like on a chair, but sit upright with your feet hip width apart. I want you to visualize that your body is moving even though you cannot see it. For example, now you are sitting and you are firmly naturally, uh, vigorously toned, let's say, but you have your inner movement and it is called the breath. Try to close your eyes and when you breathe in, feel that your organs, that your nervous system, that your skin actually had opened up like a balloon. Try to do that with me. Let's do it a few times. So close your eyes, breathe in, every single cell that you have in your body and try to pump yourself up. Breathe in. Don't hold the breath and then breathe out through your mouth. When you breathe out, slightly press the ground with your feet so that the nervous system gets into contact with the surface down there. And if you feel the ground that is firmly uh, um, pressed with your toes, then you will actually maybe even naturally contract the pelvic region. So the pelvic floor muscles. Let's do it together again. Release everything, breathe in, pump yourself up, open up like a balloon and breathe out. Ground yourself, press the ground and pull this tone all the way up to the pelvic region, even all the way through the spine, all the way to the neck and your head. Two more, breathe in. Give yourself time, press down, pull the energy up, pull that tone. Don't forget the pelvic region, it's very important. All the way up to the head and last one, give this repetition the best you can of yourself. Breathe in, reach all the way around that balloon that you're feeling and breathe out, ground yourself, tone the pelvic region, lift up this energy all the way up. So if this was too easy for you, then do it on the Swiss ball. If not, if you didn't understand this, this is something that you have to train also because this is the upward and downward neurological pathway that we are all having. So the nervous system has two pathways. So what, what are you actually training here? It's not about the breath. It's about connection with the body, breathing and connecting with the body and feeling the upward information through your nerves getting into your consciousness. So when you press the ground, when you feel something down there, it is going like an elevator up all the way through the pelvic region and all the way up with the expiration. Really give yourself some time. 
This is lecture number one. If you don't connect with your body, you're not learning, you're just doing mechanically your exercises. And this is how you can actually regenerate then when you connect and when you learn through the movement. Okay, so let's start an exercise which looks very easy. You will alternate lifting the heels. You see? You can even find the rhythm that suits you best. So maybe in a slower pace or in a higher pace. You will decide which one. You have to do this, this one like maybe one minute or two until your muscles are a bit tired, a bit, okay? And then try to move the upper part to the surface or to your toes, meaning that your heels now are firm, but you will alternate with most um, distal part of your body and also keep that rhythm. You see, this is the peripheral uh, nervous system having the rhythm controlling your movement, but also try not to be slouched and try to breathe in a way that I taught you in this previous exercise. This is something that you will feel very quickly, maybe in 30 seconds here. And the rhythm will be less and less, you will feel it. And then stop and then feel for one second what is happening down there. Do you feel numbness, uh, or warmth? What is happening? This is the process that you need to keep and to learn. When you finish this, you will, I assure you, you will enjoy in this juice of information. And then we will start to do some exercises a bit more complex. So you have both hands, you have both feet. Try to do it like this now. Or if you are tired, you can lift your heels, you see? So you're combining upper and lower extremity. Do this one minute. Breathe like a balloon. So breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth. Do this around one minute. You will decide. You can alternate also more distal part, okay? And then with this, Try to move your pelvic region. So breathe out here and breathe in here. Chest upright and down. Keep the rhythm. This one is not easy. Your nervous system is very nervous because it is getting lazy now. But try to keep on. You can even measure every day how many seconds or minutes could you do that. And last one. You continue with this one, you crisscross your fingers, you put them behind your head, and you do our butterfly, our exercise very common in body techniques. So you do breathing out with curling of the spine and rotating the pelvic region, breathe in here. But you see, you're still alternating. So my brain is working in a way that I'm firing left, right, left, right, left, right. <sighs> So my nervous pathways are really warmed up now. Breathe out, breathe in. So if this is too easy for you, I will give you another exercise. Do the rhythm, don't forget that. So going to the side, breathe out, breathe in. Remember the balloon from the beginning. Breathe out, don't forget to, to keep the rhythm there. And last one. Okay, now I hope you have five minutes of these exercises. And last exercise, keep the rhythm. Rotate your spine, look behind you, breathe in. Keep the rhythm. Rotate your spine, look behind you, and breathe in. Do this one more minute, and you will upgrade the level of your nervous communication through the body. You will upgrade the breath, you will connect with your body, and when you release, you stop. And you close your eyes, you breathe, and then you read the information from the lowest part of your body to the upper part. And this is where you heal. So, if this is too easy for you, after 
few minutes or five minutes of your day tomorrow, if you have a good day, then use a ball. Do these exercises on the ball, but I will show you another routine, maybe more upgraded. So, either you will do it on the ball, or you will do another, maybe a bit more upgraded version. So look at this. So you have a good day. You're sitting on the ball. And now you need to move your pelvis left and right. You're swaying the pelvis. Why is this important? Because our central nervous system is connected with our gut. You know, the gut feeling. Why? Because when our gut is not uh, functioning well, then our brain is not functioning well. When our brain is not functioning well, it is seen in our coordination. So now I invite you to make a circle with your pelvis. So make few circles on one side and then alternate, make another one. Imagine that you have something above or something on your head. For example, a hot tea. <laughs> so watch it out, okay? And now, when I make a rotation of my pelvis and I squeeze my inner muscles like I want to pull the organs up, I am actually making a pulse inside of me. My gut is working also because of this. And it is stimulating the nervous system. And then I am, pre I am prepared to make more intelligent exercises and more uh, complex exercises. So after these three preparations that I use the power of my gut to control the brain, now I will do my butterfly with crisscrossed uh, hands, breathing in, moving the pelvic uh, forward, breathe in, and then moving the pelvis, pelvic region backward and closing my wings. So breathe in, you know this exercise, yeah? And breathe out. Now, I will upgrade this exercise because I need the crisscross movement. What will I do? First, I will put my feet together. Now watch it. This is maybe a bit more intensive, but don't close your eyes. Use the power of the pelvic region, your inner muscles, and the control from your feet. So breathe in, move it from the pelvis and breathe out. Okay, so the crisscross movement looks like this. Breathe in and when you rotate, you go to one side like you want to touch, but you don't have to your uh, opposite knee. Breathe in and you want to touch. You don't have to, but you can if you feel like it today. And back. Try to see how many swings, uh, sways do you have? So it's better not to have a sway, right? So breathe in here and go to the side. Make your, you are the boss, okay, of your movements. And so you can decide where and how will you do it. And then I am inviting you to do something else. Lift one leg. You can rotate and lift one leg. What is happening now? Your nervous system is really happy that it is learning something new today. So this is a new lecture. And try to connect. Breathe in and breathe out slowly. Don't rush. You have the power. Breathe in. Breathe out. So if I'm not using my lower leg there, I will fall. If I'm not using my inner muscles, I will fall. If I'm not using my breath as my inner connection, I will fall. Breathe in, breathe out. I'm telling you again, if this is too hard for you, you have a chair, don't forget that. And then you can step with one foot on the ball. Like this. So now I will show you how to rise up controlling from your foot the movement. So rise up, breathe in and come down. And I don't have enough space, sorry, like this. So one more time, I'm here. So breathe in, control. So use your lower fingers down, use your abdominals down and 
push the ball a bit in front. If you can go all the way, that's great. Maybe today is your day. And then flex and then come back. Slowly, breathe in. You are high, you are very wide and open in your chest. You are looking at one spot there, back and breathe out. Extend your leg if you can, flex your feet, foot and back. Do these few times, okay? And then stretch. This is very important for the end. So stretch your legs, stretch the nerves. They have to be stretched and pulled in that envelope, kneeling envelope that is a bit damaged in your situation. So stretching is very important. So this is a neutral exercise that you do every day. And of course, try it on another leg. Maybe one leg is better than the other one. Then you can hold yourself on a wall or somebody else. So this is a routine that you can mix. You can start with the chair. You can use chair and the ball. You can alternate. I'm assuring you that this will restore, reverse and control your symptoms. I see it in my center. We are very happy to see uh, our MS clients with a smile. You can also have one, to, uh, one on your face and um, it is all because your body can regenerate. This is what you have to put in your mind. Not only focus on the disease, but focus on the real potential that you're holding in your body. And this is to restore and regenerate. I hope this will help you. Have a great, great day. Bye.